what is going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the final part of my F1 2019 career mode just for this season, there will be a season 3 but if you haven't seen Brazil make sure you see that because that really sets up this episode we are now just a point clear of Charles Leclerc the championship's going to be between me and Leclerc it's literally whoever finishes in head, ahead of, e of each other this has also been a very messy episode but we'll get on to that in just a second um, our first run puts us P5 we were actually this in that final sector um, but it's just good and that's a, a good sector to be strong in we actually won again though because this lap weren't great and there is Charles Leclerc just at the road from us so he, I thought he was going to hold us up, he didn't, luckily, and that lap puts us P4 and we got fast in the final sector again, so we're looking strong in that final sector, which is good. And now this is towards the end of the session, we have to go again, unfortunately, and this time we do get through to Q2, P9, lovely. Um, you see they, those out of Q1, and now into Q2 we make a massive mistake on our first run towards the end of the lap so probably no purple sector this time in fact it's a purple lap but that's not going to stay there for long I don't think but it did for some time and we're just about getting through with P10 so let's get into Q3 then into Q3 and round the final corner our first run puts us P5 which is pretty decent and then towards the end this is our final run we're going completely off the track and that's going to put us into P4 for the start of this Grand Prix this final round but unfortunately I had some technical difficulties with the, like what I've been having with Mexico and Russia so we are going to join this race I'm going to use the race highlights to show you the start and then that we'll properly start this race from after the pit stops around lap 10 or something like that so into the first corner we had a mega, mega start we managed to get from P4 up into P2 but unfortunately I just had no pace in this race and this was a and it turned kind of from the opening stint turned into a race that I thought was going to turn into where we had pace but we just couldn't use it so we were left battle in um, Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton we then pitted on lap 7 to put on the medium tyres which um, at the time you can see here we've got the medium tyres on batting away with Williams of George Russell around the outside gets the job done and now we can join in this race properly as we cross the line and let's see what we can do then this is the race from now then on to lap 11 we're battling away with Lando Norris we've just about stayed ahead of Lando Norris we pitted on lap 7 to put these tyres on so and we're just going to see how far these tyres can go really I thought this was a one stop race and then Jeff I said there was going to be another stint which is slightly annoying because everyone behind us is on the softs but Charles Leclerc in front of us who has a, around 7 second advantage at this point is on the mediums as well as we're going to skip on those behind us pitted on lap 18 Charles Leclerc pitted and this is where I decided to take my strategy into my own hands and I decided that Jeff wanted me to pit for another set of mediums and I thought the best form of defence is defence I know it sounds stupid so we're staying out on these tyres to the very end and we're just going to defend Charles Leclerc like there's no tomorrow this is our first attempt then and he gets past us fairly easily there and now we're going to go for the lunge back down the inside we go off the track though and now back onto the track we kind of block him and now he's going to have the run on us heading into the second DRS zone and then towards the triple chicane and he does get past us there but we're going to go for the lunge down the inside because if we let Charles go he's gone 
So this is a proper battle for the championship. This is what you want to see. If this was real life F1 and this was this season, then this would be this would be lovely. But it's not going to be. Skipping on to lap 22, and here comes Charles Leclerc again. Then past us, we're going to go back down the inside. We have the lunge. We went for it. We've um. Just about staying behind, you may have seen there for a brief second how worn our engine is. Um, just briefly, whilst we defend Charles Leclerc uh, to the inside, if you're wondering why there's no replay cameras, um, I lost the footage for the replay cameras, which I normally do, of course, for and then did a lap counters, but it's a bit rubbish for the kind of mega kind of build up the last couple of episodes have been to this point, but. Hopefully it's not too bad, you can still enjoy this video. Um, but skipping on to lap 24, there's just 5 laps to go in this race. And while we battle away with Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, who is third, you can see, is catching us very quickly here. So this is on lap 24, still we're going to defend back down the inside. And literally, these tyres... At this point, this is going to be mass for me. Um, we, we've been on these tyres since lap 7. And at this point, I literally was Bambi on ice. Every single corner, you can see the understeer. Charles Leclerc thinking about it into the final corner because we just got, we're just struggling so much onto lap 25. Now back onto the straight and it's just flying past again here. Charles Leclerc, we just had no grip out the hairpin, but by grip and determination, we just defended with everything I had. I have never concentrated so much in my life. Charles Leclerc going to go for it again. Pit in this lap, and remember the speed limit. We'll be penalised if we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. Jeff wants us to pit, you were heard there as skipping on to lap 26 and Pig Gasly has joined the party and I was like oh no I thought I thought this could go two ways with Gasly he's either A gonna help us or B just be really annoying and he was really annoying so he's gonna we're gonna have to defend him and Charles Leclerc of course it was this point I had to make a decision to what I actually wanted to do in this race we'd managed to defend both of them there somehow I do not know the contact. Um, you can also see there's 19 runners. That is Max Verstappen who retired in this race. So as it stands, we will be Constructors World Champions Red Bull, which is good. You can see here, here can pick Gasly coming through. We're going to go to the inside, down the inside. This on lap 27, so there's two to go. We somehow defend again. But it was here where I was like, I can't keep defending. There may only be two laps left, but I can't risk defending both Gasly and Leclerc. So I lifted off. I'm going to let Gasly win this race. I'm going to focus on Charles because at the end of the day, the World Championship is bigger than any win. So as we round the final corner to go on to the final lap of this Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc is going to throw everything at us, he thinks about it to the outside, we defend that, we skip onto the straight now, and he's going to do what he's done lap after lap after lap, he's going to have the DRS, he's going to close us down, he's getting closer and closer, he pulls to the outside, he's going to fly past us, but we're going to break that bit later, and we're going to defend that, but he's going to cut back to the inside, we're going to make contact with Charles Leclerc, he's going to go off the track, and we defend that as well, and now we have the DRS somehow there, don't know how, and now going into the triple chicane, Charles Leclerc has only got a set amount of opportunities to go. I'm going to leave the rest of this uncut. Can we do it? We may have, but the tyres are dead. Charles Leclerc is going to try to go to the outside through the hotel. 
are now under the hotel through the f second, the third to last corner. There's two corners to go into the second to last corner. We're still lead just Pete Gasly has won the race. We're gonna round the final corner though. Look at those tires. We are a world champion. A fantastic drive. And it means your driver's world champion. What a result. Enjoy it. And so the celebrations begin and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. So another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. Talk to me, Alex. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed for some late braking and some exciting passes. Now let's take a look at the driver's standings. We also crown a new champion today as their lead at the top is now an insurmountable one. What a great year it's been for Formula One. Now let's discuss... We are world champions. Get in there by literally nothing you can see on your screen in just a second. We are world champions by 0 0.065 seconds. 65 thousandths of a second. We are world champions by... Oh my god. Wow. What a race. What a season. What a race to have a title decider like. You may have called me crazy, but it worked in the end. We are not only driver world champions, but also constructors world champions as well. So Red Bull have done the double. And we've done it. We are world champions. Champions of the world. One time champions. And now we have decisions to make. Do we stay at Red Bull? Or do we go? But until we kick off this season three, we are world champions of the world. Goodbye.